Tifo! Welcome to Not a Smooth Operator for April 24th, 2021. 20 minute AMRAP for this Saturday. One person only, one, uh, not a team workout, unfortunately. So, single person, you'll complete 30 suitcase deadlifts, 15 each arm, 30 toes to bar, 10 shoot throughs, and then finish off 400 meter single arm carry. So the, each round should take between eight to nine minutes. If you're going fast, if you're going for uh, three rounds, you'd be doing about closer to just under seven minutes. So think about that. Uh, but most, well, most people are gonna do well between eight to nine minutes per round. Try to definitely go for two full rounds and then whatever extra reps you have, count those. Um, there's a good variation of the deadlift, so we could use a suitcase. It's just it's a single dumbbell, and what we do is that we use it for a, a weight that will keep us from turning and anti-rotation, so it actually does a lot of good core activation, as well as working on those hamstrings and those glutes. Uh, the biggest thing right here is just kind of keeping your other arm, for those who feel like the rotation is too much, keep the arm in front of um, both arms working together, Move, going through the same movement pattern that might help with that muscle memory of keeping that core engaged and then typical deadlift movement and if we have any range of motion issues we can think about shortening distance instead of actually having the dumbbell hit the ground you might be doing an rdl so maybe uh, a, a more locked out leg more locked out knees and then you don't actually touch the ground you might use like a plate or whatever an object to use as a point of reference so uh, don't worry if you can't get the ground on a dumbbell, we'll work through that. Toes of bar. For 30 toes of bar, for some people it might be a lot, for others it might not be as much, but let's just think about doing 90 seconds of work. If you can complete the 30 toe to bar in 90 seconds, great job, keep that up. If you need to bring down the reps, we can do that, or a movement that will allow you to work for 90 seconds. Shoot throughs, 10 reps here, should take about two minutes. We're thinking more, keeping the core, the plank position uh, intact, engaged uh, in both positions. So at the end point and the, and the, and the push-up position at the end point, we want to keep the hips from sagging. So keeping the hips up, engaging the core, a lot of core work uh, for today's workout. And finally, for the 400 meter, 400 meter single arm carry, it's another four to four and a half minutes of work there so it's also a good anti-rotation movement because you're going to be walking with one so trying to keep the hips from swinging just keeping the core engaged and your traps lats everything tight for that single arm carry uh, so strategy for this workout here again pacing we're not going to be going redlining through this workout it's going to be 20 minutes don't go super hard on the deadlift and try to knock those out as fast as possible. Nice, consistent pace there. It will keep your arms a little bit fresher for the toes to bar and the shoot throughs. Uh, thinking about the carry, uh, yeah, as I said before, if you're trying to go for three rounds, you're going to be moving at a pretty good clip. So faster than six, six minutes plus. So if you want to push hard, by all means, go for it. Modifications for this workout here, the deadlift, if you, need, everything's, if you need to decrease the load, that's a good idea. Uh, and as I said before, if you cannot do a full head of the dumbbell touching the ground, you can do an RDL, you can put an object on the ground and have that be your distance of your range of motion. Toes to bar, we can reduce the reps, maybe 20 reps, maybe 10 reps. Again, 90 seconds of work. You could do knees to elbow, you could do knee ups, or you could do a laying down V up. Those are some good options there. Shoot throughs, decrease the reps or using a higher target. I have a, a pretty low target. The lower you go, the, the harder the push-up will be. So if you move that, uh, that target a little bit higher, you can do the press and, and the push-up at a higher rate. It'll be a little bit easier there. And finally, for the 400 meter farmer's carry or single arm carry, you could decrease the distance. You could do a 300 meter or a 200 meter or a 100 meter. If that's your, if that works, or you can do row for a thousand meter or bike for sixteen hundred meters. So, let's get moving on with this workout here, demoing. So, suitcase deadlift, nice and easy peasy. Grab your dumbbell off the ground here. It's gonna be on the right hand side, so or left, wherever you wanna start. You're gonna 
bring shoot your hips back like a regular deadlift, feet shoulders apart, bring it down, probably bring the other hand working at the same time, make contact with the ground if you can, still engaging the hamstrings, and then come back up. That'd be one. After you've done 15 on one arm, you're going to switch to the other, then do 15 on the other. Again, an anti-rotation, maybe put the hands with you here. If you feel really good, bring it out, whichever keeps you from rotating those hips. Toes to bar, if you have a pull-up or access to a pull-up bar, it's a good time to work on your toes to bar here. Either your strict toes of bar, or if you're working on your kipping toes of bar, it's a good time to do a nice little flick. Just touch the bar there. Shoot throughs. Grab your parallettes. Find a good position. Let's make sure we get this on the video. This guy here. Of the, of the shoot throughs that I've seen. I've seen just people going from the plank position like so, keeping the hips up here in a good plank position, shooting through, and then having the hips up as well. That's the big move. And from here, shoot back out to complete the, the shoot through. I have seen, if you want to add an extra challenge to that, you can do the shoot through with a, with a push up and a dip. So. From here, you're going to do your push-up, you're going to do your shoot-through, keep the hips up, and then do your dip. And then from here, shoot back through. So if you can't do the push-up and the dip, no worries, just do the shoot-through. And finally, for your single arm carry, use that same dumbbell that you have. I would recommend walking 200 meters with one arm when you are switched to the 200 meter mark, switch to the other. If that starts to get tiring, so you can just switch as you go. There's no, no exact amount of distance you have to go through to. But 400 meters completed. So we talked about modifications for this workout, decrease the load. Um, so the RDL for the deadlift, if you cannot come all the way down to the ground, RDL is almost similar to a regular deadlift, except knees may be a little bit more straight, and then you're just gonna go down to where you feel the tension on your hamstrings, maybe just to mid shin, and then bring it back up. Just to mid shin, or have an object that you, as a target. So you have the target, you use a plate or whatever it may be, bring it down, once you make it to the target, then you bring it back up like so. So we can do that for the range of motion. Uh, for toes to bar, we talked about reducing reps. You can do a knees to elbow. So you can't do toes to bar. You can do knees to elbow, knees to elbow, or just good old knee ups, or if you've got the knee, bird, the knee ups or V ups, you can do it on the ground. You can do your knee ups or V ups. Whichever way it works for you. Laying V ups, good. And then finally for shoot throughs, like I said, reduce the reps. Don't do the push up, don't do the dip. You got that. Or you can find two boxes instead of the parallels being so low. Bring them higher, get two chairs. You can do the same movement there as a modification. And finally, for the 400 meter row, I mean the 400 meter arm carry. Again, if you can't do any dumbbell, don't feel like you have to. You could just go for a 400 meter walk with an odd object and do all the other variations I have mentioned below. So, on that note, I hope you guys enjoy this workout here. Uh, definitely be a fun one to do for a Saturday, a good 20 minute burner. So have a good Saturday and we'll catch you guys next time. Okay, CFO, welcome to After Party for April 24, 2021.
one full round of 30 tricep press downs, 30 pull aparts, 30 second max push ups, then 20 tricep pull downs, 20 pull aparts, 20 second max push ups, ending in with 10 tricep press downs, 10 pull aparts, 10 max push ups. So grab your favorite band. I like to go skinny for this version here. Find a good anchor point. Have your pull down grip, whichever way you like. I like to either hold it this way, have the, the bands down with your, I guess your fist, your fingers facing each other, or you can have your fingers facing downward, whichever way you can work. You do a different variation for each, but come here, soft knees, get that tension on the band, and then bring, get your tricep at a 90 degree angle, and then do your press downs. Like so, get those 30 in. Once you get your 30 in, take your band, get your either, if you need more tension, you go both, or you use single, and then do your 30 band pull aparts. And then when you, after you do your 30 banded pull aparts, just go for your good old 30 seconds of max push-ups here without the band. So get a good plank position. Everything engaged, glutes, hamstrings, quads, core. Bring your body down in one motion. Thighs and chest make the contact to the ground. Bring it back up. So 30 seconds, max push-ups. Then go to 20 seconds, 20, 20, 20, and then finally, 10, 10, 10. Think it'll be a nice, good after party, good movement, working those triceps, working those, show those delts, and then maxing out on those chests so you'll be pretty pumped throughout that workout there. So have a great after party, and we'll catch you guys next time.